I guess funny, I don't even really have a title today. But I'm gonna go anyway. So, you know, God woke me up about a half hour earlier than what I normally get up. Um, and he wanted me to uh, seek his face because he had something to talk about. So I began to pray. Um, you know, because anytime I don't know why I wake up, I just say a prayer just because, you know. Um, but I guess I'm gonna do a little bit about, um, teach you something today, I guess, about, um, I guess you could say, leaning out to your own understanding. It has a little bit to do about this election, too. So let's get this word real quick. All right. So Genesis 37. This is verse 18 through about 36. I'm not going to read all of them. I'm going to read some of them. So in this story, um, Joseph brothers um, sold him into slavery, pretty much. Um, and he was like his dad's favorite. And so they became jealous of him because he was a dreamer. But we know... No weapon for and against you shall prosper. So let's get into this. So read verse 19. It says, this is the brother saying, here comes the dreamer. Verse 20. Come, let's kill him and throw him into one of these sisters. Whatever you say. It. We can tell our father a wild animal has eaten him. Then we will see what becomes of his dreams. Verse 26. Judah said to his brothers, what will we gain by killing our brother? We'd have to come up. With the we have to cut we have to cover up the crime, verse twenty seven. Instead of hurting him, let's sell him to those Ishmaelite traders. After all, he is our brother, our own flesh and blood, and his brothers agree. So then, that's where you see God is still working, even when you can't see it. Their God is working for you. So God has allowed them to feel conviction, um, but whether they heed it or not. Also, it talks about and if you read that, if you read the the rest of the verses. Um, and then before it says how Reuben, you know, found out and he tried to figure out what he can do to stop it. Verse 28. They sold him for 20 pieces of silver. That's all he was sold for. <laughs> that's what I stopped. Like, that's all y'all that's all y'all gonna sell me for? Nah, you got that. Verse 29. Sometime later, Reuben returned to get Joseph out of the cistern. When he discovered that Joseph was missing. He tore his clothes in grief. So he got upset like, man, that's messed up. They sold Joseph. Verse 31. Then the brothers killed a young goat and dipped Joseph's robe into its blood. Verse 32. So and before that verse, they were talking about, you know, what would they do? Because, you know, saying they have to figure out to do something. So that's why, you know, Reuben and was like, oh, we'll try to figure out something. Verse 32. So they sent the beautiful robe to his father. With the message, look at what we found. Doesn't this robe belong to your son? Now watch this. This is how the enemy is very tricky. The enemy, in this case, you look at his brothers, the enemy. They didn't say anything about what actually happened. They gave the appearance of what they wanted it to, to look like happened. So now they were thinking about the animals eating him, you know, and then they said, well, because his clothes was ripped, maybe we'll just let our father think about it his own self. That's why it's powerful. It says it says in the scripture, Proverbs three and five, lean not to your own understanding. Because when you lean to your own understanding, sometimes you can be wrong. You know, that's why you got when something first happens. You know, that was his initial reaction. And that's, you know, what I'm saying and that, and that was a valid feeling. Man, this is messed up. So let's get back into that. Verse 33, their father recognized it immediately. Yes, he said, it is it. This is my son's robe. A wild animal must have eaten him. Joseph has clearly been torn to pieces. Now, this was his own understanding. That's why the Bible says, do not lean to your own understanding. Why? Because sometimes we can be wrong even with the first initial thought. That's why you got to be careful. You got to pray about it. And that's why you have... Um, you know, dis discernment, you know, that's why even when something happens, you can't sit there and go and react and say something and give yourself the own appearance. Verse 34, then Jacob tore his clothes and dressed himself in burlap. He mourned deeply for his son for a long time. Verse 35. Now watch this. His family tried to comfort him. His family all tried to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. I will go to my grave mourning my son. He will say then he would weep. So, so the point I'm trying to make is that 
he leaned to his own understanding and sometimes you know that can be devastating for us you know that's why you definitely need like i said god's prophets or discernment to be able to let you know what actually it is and see think about it all through that god still was working so even with you know saint joseph you know god was still still working you know that's why god is blocking things and you know they wanted to kill him that's why god said he'll never let you know um, you know, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You know, they wanted to kill him. They didn't. And even if you continue reading, you find out that Joseph, even though he got sold, he still ended up being shown favor. So that's why God is still working anyway. A lot of things, you know, like I said, we don't know about. Joseph didn't know at the time, you know, they were trying to kill him. But let's get back to the father. So the father, he leans his own understanding. So therefore, he caused himself to go into depression. Um, to, to, you know, to doubt, I mean, whatever, fear, you know, and that's why it says lean out to your understanding. And so that's what they like to do in this election. Hmm. So let's bring it back around, man. I love God when he gives you something, man, he wake you up. So let's bring it back around, right? So we remember in the story, we were talking about, they gave the appearance of what happened because now we have two candidates, as most people say, I don't want to vote for neither one of them. You know what I'm saying? People say, well, I don't like Hillary because of this. I don't like Trump because of this. And people say, well, how did we get there? Well, let me tell you how we got there. You got shows like CNN, whatever, Fox News, they gave the appearance of these candidates being the better candidates of the, the ones that were out of everybody that were chosen. My thing, like I said, I believe there was other candidates, but I mean, we're at this point. That's why we have to be educated. But And I was watching a video today, you know, um, when God said, you know, look at Facebook and I watched something. And, you know, dealing with God. And then the next video was a video about, you know, like the how, how they were talking about Bernie Sanders versus like, um, you know, Clinton, you know, Hillary. So, I mean, which is which, which is OK. But, you know, we got to the point where what they do is they actually the media. That's why we got to be careful. We watch what we hear because we can't watch all that stuff because why we can lean to our own understanding. So now we look at it and people are like, well, how do we get to here? Like we have two candidates. You know, we don't want to do this. We don't want to do that. And that's why we got there, because they gave us the appearance of what they wanted us to. So they said, this is what we're going to put out there. This is what we're going to portray. You know, that's why they take part of what somebody is saying, not the whole conversation. So we can form what our own opinion and say, oh, well, we don't we, we don't get these people. We, you know, don't do these people. Don't do these people. And then when it's time, as we know, at the end, that's when everything else starts to come out. Oh, well, this person deleted this, this person did this, or this person grabs women, or, you know what I'm saying, and everything that, that gets there. But that's why we don't even have, you know, like a Martin Luther King nowadays, you know, they can sit there and tell us, you know, what to do, even with the nonviolence and everything that's coming around. That's why we have situations and what's happening nowadays. But I also just wanted to bring that back around, too. Also, with the election, um, I definitely believe that you should pray um, and you should vote. By not voting, I mean, you can actually give the other candidate Maybe the one that, I mean, so I know I understand people like, well, we got to vote the lesser of two evils or whatever. I mean, vote who you think is going to do the best, because if you feel like one is better than the other, then vote for that one. Because if you don't vote and the one and if you don't vote for the one that you think is the best candidate right now and the other candidate gets in. I mean, think about it. If we look at it in the Bible, you know, when they kept saying, oh, we want a king, we want a king. And then they gave him Saul. You know, God said, listen, man, because you keep asking for it, I'll give it to you and show you that this is really not what you wanted to see. And people don't understand that. And when you break it down, they gave him Saul and then Saul just started tripping later on, man. That's how we are now. We have presidents and, you know, and things like that. And that's why this country is the way it is now. You know, we got to get back to where it is, you know, saying. But either way, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Um, but again, so I just want to tell you, sometimes we can have the appearance of what we think and that's why God said, "Don't understand it," and that will actually add to, you know, depression, or you know, sickness, or you know, doubt or fear, or whatever the case may be. That's why it's lean out to understand. That's why when sometimes when you go through a situation, even myself personally, you know, when I go through something and I say, "You know what, God, you already worked it out. It's already done." That's why I go back to the scripture because I know God's gonna take care of it, no matter what happens. No matter what situation. And also, too, you can sit here and pray about something and then the situation get worse. That does not mean that God is not going to change or do what he said he's going to do. That does not mean that you lost. Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. We look back at this story that I was just telling you about. He got sold away. All things still worked out. 
he still ended up going there and still get blessed. You know what I'm saying? And still was shown favor as a slave. Man, God ain't done. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I'm here to tell you, you know what I'm saying? That's why I tell people all the time, you control your happiness. You know, sometimes we look at the situation and be like, oh, what is God going to do? Look, God is already working it out. It's already done. You just got to have faith until... God shows you, reveals it. It don't matter. That's why I don't, that's why I don't lean to my own understanding. I don't try to understand. Okay, God, you know, I don't, you said don't lean to my own understanding. And this is how I feel right now. And that's why I go back to the scriptures. So I don't feel the way I did. So I train myself to be better in the situation. That's why I can understand even when the situation or a storm and God is working it out and you don't understand it. Why? Because God will reveal it to you eventually. He'll reveal it to you, whether it's a day from now, weeks, months, years, whatever. God will reveal it. You know, because that's just how God is. It says that. It says the numbers that God is not a man that he shall lie. You know, and it said Genesis 15 and 20, what the enemy meant for evil, God will turn for good. So what the enemies of David meant, I mean, of Joseph meant, it still worked out for his good, you know. But again, so I hope you caught that. Um, I hope you do go out and vote. You know, saying so I probably will maybe talk about something another time or anything like that because the truth needs to be um, out there. Love y'all. God bless.